Hi everyone, welcome to a new Begijnhoeve video. My name is Rob, behind the camera is Tommy. I'm here. Today uh, we are in Winterswijk and we're going to have a look at the falls. Uh, it's only the second time I will see them. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty curious how they developed. Uh, so we're going to have a look. And uh, Chef Govaert is with us. He's going to sketch them to write them in in the studbook in the BWP. Uh, so we're going to do that as well. So yeah, let's have a look. So this is Eternal Flame. Eternal Flame I bought two years ago uh, from uh, a, a princess actually. <laughs> it was quite a nice story. Um, it's a very good Negro mare and this is the first year she gave foals for us and we got three of them and this is a Le Premier foal. I didn't see him yet before, it was the first time and I think it's a very special foal. You can see his posture, it's, it's really nice. So as you can see, Chef is sketching him now. So uh, he, he's uh, writing down all his marks and his white feet and all. And he's going to get his DNA as well, so he's going to get a sample out of his tail. Uh, so then he can see uh, if the offspring uh, or of his father and mother of his, is the same as in his DNA. I think this is a very good fall. It's a Le Premier fall, so I'm, I'm actually I'm proud because it's one of my best falls this year. Um, very uh, good swing in his body, very nice um, gait, very nice posture. So I'm really, really happy with this one. And this one does not have a name yet. So guys, can you help us out? It's, he needs a name with a U and it needs to be a good name because you see it's, it's a really cool cold. So, uh, if you guys can help me out, let us know something in the comments and then uh, maybe we can use your name. It's you, uh, de <laughs> So Eternal Flame is a Negro mare and her full sister is doing Grand Prix now in the Beatrice Ferrer Salat. Um, Eternal Flame is out of the stables of Gert-Jan van Olst and I I think, if I see this year the, how the falls are, it's a very good breeding mare. So I'm really happy she's uh, with, with us in our stables. He's getting some hairs out of his tail to uh, compare the DNA. Okay. And the next one is also Le Premier Fall. It's Uno Begijnhoeven. You guys helped us with the name. I think it's a very cool name. And it's also a very cool cult as well. Uh, as you can see, also lots of action going on here and also lots of swing. So he looks a little bit like his half brother and it's also a Le Premier Negro. So I think this is also one of the better falls. Um, a very nice attitude and very nice uh, gait and I think we, we can be really happy with this offspring. This is Unique Begijnhoeven. Unique is out of uh, Tommy's uh, favorite girl of course, Fanatique. Fanatique is heading towards the Grand Prix with him and um, we saw him before and then he was uh, really pretty but he, his gaits were normal. Um, but as you can see now, his gates are actually quite good and it's the third Le Premier called. I must personally say the, the first two are exceptional and this one is just a very good fall. 
It doesn't mean that he uh, can be exceptional as a three-year-old, but I uh, think now you, you can see in his body is he has a little bit less uh, swoon in his body than the other two. But still you can see nice action going on, very nice attitude and it's a beauty of course. I mean it's, it's a very pretty goal. Uh, so yeah, I'm still really happy with this one and I'm really curious how he will develop as a three-year-old because uh, you never know with his falls. Uh, maybe this one will be the best out of the three. You just don't know. So this one is our unicorn. <laughs> um, I think half of you <laughs> um, uh, suggested the name unicorn, so we had to use it, of course. Uh, this is a very pretty girl out of uh, uh, Quinton, of, no, out of Phaeton, I mean, and Quinton is the, the sire. Um, a very pretty foal. Um, I think it, she has very good gates as well. She uh, can have a little bit more um, a swing in her body uh, but if, if I saw her like one and a half two months ago or now she's developing really well and it's the same as with uh, the last one you just don't know how they will turn out to be uh, when they are three so I think it's a very good fall and this is her twin brother I think this one is better than the mare at this moment. Eh? As I said before, you don't know, but you see this one has more swing in his body and still uh, there's lots of uh, power in his gait and he has a very nice attitude. Uh, and I think it's a beauty because he's very long lined, a little bit more long lined than the mare. Um, so yeah, I really like this uh, colt actually. And it's also really cool because it's a Quinton fall. So, um, Le Premier and Quinton both give, gave us really nice falls, so uh, yeah, that's quite special for me, of course. When this pretty fellow is with, with his really special markings, it's Upgrade. Upgrade is now uh, also from Eternal Flame. It's the first uh, mare, the Negro mare uh, you saw. Uh, so this one is through embryo transfer and it's a very, very pretty colt as well. You see he has some really strange markings. <laughs> and he's very special because uh, of his markings on his head. So everybody will notice him in the future, I think. And he's also very special in his gates. Very nice attitude again and uh, nice uh, big gates with lots of power. And Desperado, uh, I sometimes uh, feel that he lacks a bit of power in his hind legs. So that's why I put him on a Negro or a Contango mare. And uh, I think with this one it turned out really well because you can see his hind legs are quite quick and uh, very um, active. So yeah, I'm really happy with the result uh, this year. So here is Yushento, um, a very pretty foal. 
uh, of course we renamed him after Ushento of Daniela. Um, and she was really happy we named him uh, Ushento and I think he's worth a name because he's, it's an exceptional uh, pretty cold. Uh, very nice uh, refined head. Uh, and he's also out of Eternal Flame again. It's the third fall of Eternal Flame. And you see now he has really nice posture, very nice attitude. Um, he didn't show as his, himself as great as his half-brothers. But still, I think it's a very interesting fall. And um, with this kind of falls, you don't know how they develop. When they are three, sometimes they turn out to be very, very exceptional. But I'm really happy with the way he's built and, and I mean, yeah, how pretty they can get. I mean, it's uh, just exactly what you want. So Romanov passed away last year. Um, so yeah, for the breeding part, it makes them even more interesting. Uh, Romanov is, I think, on the number one or number two spots in the world breeding rankings. Uh, so it's a very interesting fall and especially in their, in their character, they're always really nice. So uh, yeah, I'm really curious how he will be when he's three years old. So this is Ultra Begeinhoeve. Many people suggested Ultra, so this pretty girl is named Ultra. Really cool with the white nose. So Chef has lots of work to do, as you can see. <laughs> he has to sketch a lot. <laughs> uh, yes, there's a white nose Chef, yes. Um, so Ultra is an all at once uh, filly. Yes, he had a white nose Chef. Yes, a white nose Chef. Um, so an all at once filly. Um, all at once is written to, uh, by uh, Yesin. It's a very interesting stallion. and. Um, Karma is his mother, Karma I ride. Uh, you saw her before, it's a desperado mare. Um, I must say I expected a fall um, with a little bit more movement in the front legs, uh, because as you can see now it's a little bit, yes, yeah, she, she lacks a little bit of freedom in the shoulder. Uh, she has a nice attitude, she's very pretty, but for now you, you want a little bit more swing and a little bit more uh, movement out of the shoulder. It's still, it's nice, it's good. Uh, again, you don't know how it, they will develop because I remember Karma as a foal uh, did not have lots of shoulder freedom as well, but she had a very good swing in her body and uh, yeah, she turned out to be a very good uh, mare now. I'm happy with uh, how pretty she is and I'm happy how her posture is. But yeah, for now, we want a little bit more swing in the body and a little bit more uh, expression. <laughs> so this guy <laughs> named my favorite name, Ushuaia. Um, yeah, Ushuaia, of course, from Ibiza. I really wanted to name uh, called Ushuaia. And he's out of Gotango. Gotango is now the real mother, so she's standing beside him. Um, she's a contango mare, and uh, she's very interesting for breeding because I really like contango in the pedigree because of their uh, leg. Oh, he's jumping like Ushuaia party. It's very good. <laughs> um, contango mares are very interesting because uh, they have a very active uh, hind leg and they are, they are very hot in their uh, working attitude. And I uh, always put like uh, a sire on them with uh, lots of swing and suppleness and shoulder freedom. So that's why I've chosen uh, Desperado with her. He really deserves his name as you can see because he's really like playing uh, and dancing uh, Ushuaia style. For this fall it was again, it was a bit difficult to see how his quality is. I mean, if you see the way he's built, it's good. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a very big fall, but today you did not see his true gait. It was a little tensed. You don't see lots of swing in his body again. Uh, we were like, okay, it's, it's a chestnut colt, but it's, it's not a horse that you think about like, oh, uh, that was a very good uh, fall. 
but again, we don't know how we, they will develop. I mean, Desperado con Tango, it's a very interesting pedigree. So maybe he turns out to be uh, exceptionally good. For now, we did not make the greatest impression. But again, you really don't know. So this is our Uber. Um, Uber is also uh, from Gotengo, which you just saw. So this is with um, uh, embryo transfer. Uber is, is, is very nice in his movement. So Uber has a little bit of a problem. Maybe you can see it on his right hind leg. His fat block is almost touching the ground. Um, it was way worse when he uh, was born, but now it's getting better and better. Yeah, we hope of course that his fat lock will rise and that he will be a very good horse in the end. But for now he needs time, he needs to get stronger. So after when he went to the paddock, he, they all go to the field and then they get stronger while they move a little bit. So I really hope in, uh, in a few years that everything will be fine and, and especially I hope the next year that everything will be okay. So the last one is Umami. I really like that name, I must say. Uh, Umami is out of uh, Fetini again. Fetini gave us three falls this year. So the, the Quinton twins and the Baron. And this is the Baron uh, Philly. I must say for now, I think this is a little bit too horizontal. As you, if you saw the, the other falls, they're way more uphill. And this is a nice fall. She has a nice big gates as well. But for me, it can be more uphill and more expressive. So um, again, you don't know, but um, if I saw, see this fall, I decided to not use Baron again because the stallion is not improving a lot. If you saw the Quinton twins, they are much better. So I think um, that stallion fits the mare more. And uh, I have a, had a Baron fall last year out of a Negro and it was a little bit of the same. It was a nice fall, but not special enough for me. So that's why I decided not to use Baron again anymore. So we just got home after a long day, a long drive. Uh, but it was worth it because uh, uh, the falls were pretty good actually and what the most fun part is now that uh, our own stallions gave the best falls. So Le Premier gave us three very good falls uh, under which tr uh, two exceptional ones and his Quinton, yeah, my Quinton. also gave, uh, gave uh, two, uh, the twins were really good especially the Colt was uh, quite exceptional. Yeah, but to be honest, the Le Premiers were like outstandingly good. They were better. Yeah. But okay. Yeah, but no, maybe that Quinton is also really good. You don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were really good and a very good Desperado Negro as well. Yeah, it always yeah. sounds a bit weird to say it from your own falls, but they were actually pretty nice. Yeah, and the uh, chef, the guy who was uh, sketching the falls uh, for the BWP, he also said like the Le Premier Falls especially were like uh, really really good so that makes, makes me really happy as well that I'm uh, of, no sorry that he is really objective and that uh, he tells us as well that Le Premier is also a very good uh, stallion in his breeding. So what uh, Chef did today was sketching the falls. They uh, write them in in the stud book, uh, in this case the BWP. And they sketch them, so uh, the marks on the horse, so he has a white nose or he has uh, white uh, feet or whatever, and the color and his gender, uh, they all write it down and they will be chipped and then the chip number will be corresponded with um, the, the sketch, you know, so that they say this is, it's this horse and they take out the hairs out of his tail to check the DNA. So that's the reason why he put it in this plastic bag. Poor horse. Now they all need tail extensions. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, so that's the reason why they sketch the horses. Uh, and so the, 
the the sketches that he he made are they the sketches who is coming into all their passports, or do you have to do it again, or how does it work? Yeah, th yeah, that will the be in the passports. Yeah. So those sketches birds, who he made birds, will birds. be in the passports. Birds, birds, in passports. passports. In the passports, from all this. Yes. Yeah, I didn't know. Maybe if people watching this, they don't know either. No, maybe. So no, now now you know. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which one do you like most? Number one, two, or three? Let us know down uh, in I the know comments. Which one I like most? I know which one I like most as well. Right.